Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we will write uh, the render function to render the different type of uh, form fields like input type, email text, radio, select, checkbox and all. Okay. So this is our form schema and we have already created the form elements. Uh, you don't need to create separate for the email because for format form input type text and email are same because both are accepting the text input the only thing is for email we can write a custom validation in the formic using yup so both are kind of same we just don't need a separate functions for them okay now in this render function what we will do is we are already getting the formic elements so we can just import all the formic elements in the top which we have already done form text field select field and submit button and in the render function of this form because it's a functional sorry function component so we just need to write return inside return we will render the form component first and everything will comes inside a form component so what all things we can pass in the form component like this is a formic form component so here we will have initial values initial values we will be getting like form data which we need to just create okay and we have validate schema so validation schema it is i think we validation schema we will have a local property validation schema we will assign it and on submit we already have a method defined on submit let's keep it same and here now we will be writing renderer right so all the children's we are writing and this form component is nothing but this is defined here in the form element export function form and we are getting it from there so this is a formic all the properties are being passed here so this formic actually accepting all the initial values on submit validation schema and then wrapping our component with these two tags and here we are writing all the children's so here we are writing the child's of this so what we need to do is we need to just iterate onto this object dot or I mean in the schema we just iterate onto this this is an object so how can we iterate using object dot keys we will get all the keys of this object we are iterating on the form schema and you will get an array once you do object dot keys and we can run a map onto it and here using map we will be getting keys and index and here we will do our actual things so this is our div we will pass the unique index to this div and here we will render get form element there is a method we are going to write get form get form element and we will pass two things key and the index form schema index I mean which particular index you are going to access like first key will be this name right so for the first time you will passing this whole object and the key key is name and the object value is this so get form element we have to write function <coughs> so here we can write on get form element we are passing some object and then here we will decide what need to be rendered so here we are getting element name I'm just writing shortcut element name and we are getting element schema lm schema and element name okay here we will be getting all the defined properties from this object which are like uh, we are going to create a props for this and we are going to get name property name property we are getting from element name is a name and we have label label properties element schema dot label element schema has these three properties type label and required property okay so other properties options for that like select we need to get options 
that we are getting from element schema dot options yeah now we can just do if else condition or switch whatever is comfortable for you element schema dot type this type property we are accessing if type is text email and all these things if type is text or if type is email both are same then we will render input text field so this component we already have received what we are going to return is here we already got text field component from the top we can get it text field and we will pass all the required props to it we already got the props we will destructure it this props object we have created right name label, label and options okay and we will also add the validations based on the required property so the first condition is for this and second condition we have for select element schema dot type is select then render the select field component okay get form elements this method is done and render is done okay now we need to actually get this form data and validation schema we need to construct it based on the json we have okay so for that we have to use some kind of a hook let's use that so this is our functional component started from here we can have two different hooks for validation schema and for form data because we will be initializing them based on this schema we are getting and i will be writing use effect hook here in the use effect we can actually have one init method which will do the initialization once your component is getting rendered so here init form i can call this method this method will actually initialize the form data and the validation schema for us and i will be passing form schema okay so init form i can write always take care of these arrow functions if you are writing that in the functional component now i will initialize okay let form data is empty and let schema is also empty this is form data and this is schema data initially both are empty but what we will do is now we will loop on to our schema form schema right which is an object so we will loop on to it and we will try to see what all we can get so if you do object dot keys and run a for loop on to it like for var key of we can uh, write for of loop on what object dot keys i have object of keys and i'm getting form schema okay here now what i can do is initially let's uh, so here we need to do a lot of checks form schema dot key dot type if type is text then validation schema so what we are doing is we are initializing the form data we will be initializing form data and validation schema based on each and every attribute so we will be accessing each and every property initially form data of key is initialized with empty okay and then we will do a conditional check okay form schema of key first is key is the name sorry key is name and this object i will get so for the name if type is text so this is the first type i got and then in this case i will just use validation schema so here i have validation schema data i can say schema data dot key dot type okay so for name i will just use yup dot string validation for this name is a string right similarly we have else if else if this condition is now comes out true for email then i will be doing schema data dot key then it will be email in this case first of all string 
and dot email I guess yeah otherwise so we have Elsif also one more condition if this is select right form schema dot key dot type that we are getting from here validation schema type is text type is email type is select if type is select then what we will do is validation schema will be different right because it's a input type select one option should be selected there right so in this particular key we haven't written this so it should be yup dot it should be first of all yup dot string and then at least one option from the select should be select should be selected right so it, we will use one of form schema of key I mean we are getting this so what we need to get is one of these options should be selected right so we have to write custom function here one of key dot options dot map and what I will say is at least one of this should be there value custom validation otherwise so this is else if else if loop finally if property is required so here we have some properties are also required so these are the three types we have if we have more types we can add else if condition here we are checking required property if any of this is required which is true boolean then we will just add this condition validation schema dot key equal to validation schema dot key equal to now we need to access validation schema dot key whatever we have assigned dot required and we will just set required message little bit clumsy but I think this is fine so here we have initialized schema data based on the type and based on the required property based on the required property we make this particular property required okay now finally what we can do is we can set schema data these two hooks we have created set validation schema and set form data set validation schema will be yup dot object dot shape this is how we finally define the schema yup dot object Simplify object dot shape and we will pass our schema. Okay, similarly set form data. Set form data is the form data. Yes, finally uh, we have created this successfully. Okay, so we are just uh, passing the validation schema here set validation schema this particular property we are passing in our formic form and form data and we are just using this init method to initialize because we have to calculate the schema validation based on the type required property and all so we call this init form method and set these both the properties and once we get everything we got the validation schema of property and form data property we are initializing okay now you can add the custom classes and all but here this is the kind of logic which you can write for your dynamic form validation first of all we will get a json what you need to do you just need to iterate on to json and find out what all form elements we are rendering then find out how to build the schema for validation because formic need validation schema formic need initializer values and form data okay so this is pretty much we have Okay, thanks everyone. Have a good day.